Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 19th through the 25th. Um, so, my loves, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, I'm trying to cut down the amount of time that we do on the intro. So, um, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. If you're not, click that uh, subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for um, a bunch of different prizes. Everything is in the description box below, how to win and the prizes that are given away. So, check that out. Be sure to click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and the winners are announced, okay? All right, guys, let's get started here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Geminis, please? July 19th through the 25th, please, Spirit. Love messages, advice, clarity for my Geminis, please. All right. So we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And we have the Nine of Swords. So, Gemini, this could be that you are missing somebody's love here or somebody is missing your love. Somebody was moving towards another person with a, a lot of love, a lot of affection. And with that nine of swords, either it was making somebody antsy because they didn't want all this love or somebody is missing the love. So take that as it resonates. Let's see what else we have here. We have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And we have the devil. Oh, good Lord. Capricorn energy. Yeah. Okay. So let me take that back. We have someone here. We have someone here that wants to give love, wants to receive love. Okay. And they're having a lot of anxiety because it's just not working out because we're dealing with Satan. No, I'm playing. <laughs> we're dealing with a player. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are dealing with, I mean, the player of all players, these two cards together. I'm sure, you know, this is not a good deal. Capricorn energy, Leo Sagittarius energy. We got the player card with the devil. This person is tied to uh, being a player, being a partier, wanting to go out, wanting to drink, wanting to do drugs, wanting, you know, I mean, this person just whatever, whatever is not good this person's into it. Okay. And I feel like this person here is having a hard time because this person just wants a romantic lovey dovey relationship. Yeah. Three of swords. This person is heartbroken. This person wants stability. They want love. They want romance. The chariot here, Cancerian energy. This person wanted this connection to move forward. They wanted the fairy tale, you know, and with the five of pentacles here, this person is about to abandon ship because they're not, you know, yeah, four of wands. This person is not interested in stability. This person is not interested in having a family. This person is not interested in building a life together. This person is not interested in any form of commitment whatsoever. None. Okay. And it's killing this person right here. It's killing them. Okay. Ace of swords, because this person is waking up to the truth. So Gemini, you place yourself where you resonate the death card, scorpionic energy. So I feel like this person here is seeing clear. Now they're seeing the truth and they're realizing here that it's time to end this. They're realizing here. I mean, this is going to be a huge shift. I mean, this is the ending of all endings. This is, there's no more coming back. So here we have the 10 of pentacles on this person's side. Um, I have a feeling that this person maybe was taking money. Yeah, the seven of wands. So what's going to happen here is this person is going to be blocked from whatever abundance this person was giving. So for instance, if this person was living with this person, they're now getting kicked out. If this person was using this person's car, they have no car. If this person was being supported by this person, now they have no finance. This person I'm feeling was in it for the money. Okay. They were in it for the money or they put up with this person here for the money. Um, but I feel that ultimately this person was blocked from whatever abundance they were in this for initially. We have the two of wands here. So whoever's on this side is now separating themselves, now distancing themselves and the four of pentacles, they're holding back their money or they're holding back whatever abundance they were bringing into the connection. Okay. We have the full card. Aries energy. And the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I'm kind of getting this energy where this person kind of, uh, 
fooled you out of your money. This person played games to get money from you, to get some type of a abundance from you. This person um, wanted you to invest in them. This person wanted you to believe that you guys would have like a, a happy life together or whatever. But this person ultimately was in this for something. Now, Gemini, that for everyone, that's going to be something different. For one person, it might be money. People will, you know, stay in relationships for the most mundane things, you know, because I don't know, you have a... a washer and dryer in your house and they don't have to go to the laundromat. You know what I'm saying? Like people will stay with you, you know, for within a relationship for the most mundane, you know, reasons. Okay. So there was something that, that the other person had that this person needed. Now, Gemini, it could be you. It could be you that you're on this side here. And maybe you were using this place, person for a place to live or I don't know, you know, but one person here did not have good intentions, whereas the other person did. OK, so let's see what the challenge here is. We've got the five of swords. Yeah, we have mind games happening here. We have somebody here that is just feeling defeated. We've got the hanged man, Piscean energy. So someone here played a, a lot of mind games and they forever kept the connection stagnant. They kept it in one place so that it would not move forward. I'm also getting an energy of somebody walking away and just simply hitting the brakes on the connection. We've got the ace of pentacles here. And we have the three of pentacles. Okay, but they're coming back. They're coming back. Um, they're wanting to apologize. They're saying that they want to work on a new beginning here. But guys, this is not, you know, we've got the king of swords under the deck. So I don't feel, yeah, I don't feel like this person has the best of intentions because it's like they're sitting here. They have, you know, they're, they're being very strategic with the way they're coming towards you. This person has a plan and they're not telling you what that plan is. Okay. Cancer, Piscean energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So Gemini, you know, that could be you or that could be someone coming towards you. So let's go ahead and clarify this because they're definitely coming back, but I don't think they're coming back with the best intentions. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Someone here was very honest with their intentions. Whatever they said, whatever love they were putting out, it was honest, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Um, someone here may have found out they were pregnant and, you know, now they're dealing with that alone. That's number one. Um, number two, I feel like with this Empress, this is someone that is trying to create in life. This is someone who's trying to build a life, someone who wants to be a wife, a mom, a husband, a father, gender doesn't matter. This is someone that may be on their game financially. This could be a business owner. This is someone that's trying to improve and build and has goals, okay? And with that Nine of Swords, I feel like, you know, this whole scene here has stressed the hell out of this person. Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like someone here was very loyal, solid, stable. They really wanted to work on having a life here and they got, you know, heartbroken. They got their heart broken. Chariot here with the Five of Cups. Yeah, they're disappointed. They, they, they're disappointed and in a way they may even feel guilty because they are pulling back some form of abundance here but someone here is making the decision that's best for themselves and moving on ace of swords death card they're realizing that this is going nowhere okay yeah death card on top of the ace of swords and the death card right here page of wands leo sag aries energy yeah someone here i feel they're realizing that these promises are just you know promises that kind of fizzle out. Someone here is not offering anything real stable or tangible to the connection. Two of wands. We have the eight of pentacles. Tell me about the four of pen, uh, the four of coins here, the wheel of fortune. Yeah. So oh, we have one person here that's not going to focus on love anymore. This person was honest. They had pure intentions. They realized that this is going nowhere. They got their heart broken. Maybe they realized that there's third party energies here. And I feel like this person went from empress to queen of pentacles they're on their own they're independent they don't need anybody they feel bad they feel guilty but they left they this person distanced themselves they're now working on themselves and with that four of pentacles and that wheel of fortune this person is holding on to their abundance and they're going to be fine so whoever here got hurt i just heard who laughs good laughs last Okay, that's what I heard. So I feel like this person has their fun, but now this person is doing good and this person isn't laughing so hard. You know what I'm saying? This person's not, wait, 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 where are you going? Okay, you know what I'm saying? They're not laughing so hard. So I don't know what side you fall on here, Gemini, but all right, tell me about this nine of wands, please. Tell me about this nine of wands. Two of pentacles. Oh, this person was juggling. Tell me about this devil. 
Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person made a lot of false promises. This person was dating a lot of other people, talking to a lot of people. Um, th this person was all over the place. Five of Pentacles. And I'm getting here money. This person had very little money, okay? Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This person, I feel took a lot of money from you. This person was like a child. This person, well, you supported this person like they were a child. Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. I feel like this person made you feel like they were committed, like you guys were going to live happily ever after, like everything was good, so that you would give money because they. this person doesn't, they're broke. Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Yeah, this person only moved towards you, I'm feeling, for these Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. We've got the Five of Wands. Yeah. There was, there. this person, like, they wanted to get close enough to get the money or to get the abundance, but then when it came down to the emotion, they would cause sabotage. Tell me about the Fool card, the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. You see, they would cause sabotage. They would act like a fool. They would dip off, do whatever they wanted to do, come back, apologize, and then tell you, oh, yeah, invest in me again. I'm committed. No, that doesn't, it's like ridiculous. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. You notice how this card just flipped over like this because really this person is supposed to be in reverse. Let's just face it. Did you see how that flipped? Because th that King of Pentacles is 100% supposed to be in reverse. That King of Pentacles, I feel like there. This King of Pentacles is down and out in some way, okay? And, um, you know, th they just don't have a good energy and they're, they're feeding off of this person here. Tell me about this Five of Swords. We've got the Emperor, Aries Taurus energy. We've got the Hanged Man and the King of Swords, Aquarius Gemini Libra energy. So we have the King of Swords twice here. So guys, we have somebody here that's very controlling, possibly even narcissistic. This person knows how to play mind games. They know how to keep you hanging. They know how to keep you wanting more. They know how to keep you in one spot. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles Virgo energy and the three of pentacles with the 10 of swords. Okay. So this person now is seeing you out there single available pre empress. And they don't want that because they know that there's that you have a lot of options. They don't want to lose that. So now they're coming in with the three of pentacles and the 10 of swords saying, listen, I really, really, really hurt you, but I want to try to work this out. Tell me more about this three of pentacles, the moon, but it's an illusion. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. Cancer, Piscean energy. This person is very selfish. They're very selfish. The only reason why this person talks to you is because they have a lack of mentality. This person is trying to get what they want and then go dip off, leave you out in the cold, leave you in that nine of swords energy again, and then they come back to commit. You know what I'm saying? This person is just on and off. They're out to drive. This person emotionally abuses people to keep them under their grasp. Okay? So Gemini, I don't know. You take it as it resonates. That could be you. That could be your person. All right? But they're not coming back with good intentions, whoever this is. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Gemini's? Divine timing, okay? Divine timing. Under the deck, we have manifestation. So, guys, I feel that for some of you, you may have manifested this situation into your life unknowingly. You know what I'm saying? Unknowingly. So, make sure you check your thoughts. And, and yeah, woman holding a heart. Um... I feel like somebody here possibly manifested wanting love, wanting a soulmate, wanting someone to come into their life, but you have to be careful how you manifest. Words are very important. You know, you have to understand the reason why it's called spelling is because you're technically casting spells when you write. Okay. That's how powerful your words are. So someone may have just said, oh, you know, I want a person that, you know, I can't leave or that, you know, will never leave me. I want a person that will never leave me. Well, this is someone who is never going to leave you the hell alone. It doesn't mean that they're going to treat you right. So you may want to go back to look at what you tried manifesting here because you're giving your heart to somebody that, yeah, they're never going to leave you, but they're also going to, you know what I'm saying? to abuse you. So you don't want that either. So make sure you check what you're manifesting. Make sure you're manifesting correctly. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have here? Honeymoon. Yeah. I feel here that this is all happening in divine timing. No matter how much you love this person, I feel like you're going to let go. I feel like you are going to move on. I don't feel like you're going to trust this person when they come back, hopefully. 
spirit, what messages do we have here for my Geminis? Emotions are running high. I feel like emotions are running high on your end because this person is cool as a cucumber. Yeah, and that's why you need to surrender to the divine here, Gemini, okay? You need to surrender this. You need to let go. You need to manifest because emotionally right now with that nine of swords energy and that three of swords energy, you're in a lot of pain. This person has put you through a lot and, you know, your thoughts are all over the place. Rejoice in celebration. Um, I feel that... I feel that you want to get away. I feel that you want to be happy. I feel like you're thinking about that moment when this is finally over and you never have to think about this again. But, you know, it's going to be a journey to get there. You will get there. You will get there for whoever here is trying to walk away. Okay. Angels of the four directions. You have your archangels. Okay. Surrounding you. Guiding you. Guiding you. Okay. To get away from this. Spirit messages do we have here for my Gemini's? shame okay some of you may actually feel ashamed for allowing this person to take advantage of you do not do that gemini okay if that's the case do not do that there's nothing to be ashamed of okay just remember what i'm telling you whatever you give in this world is never lost okay it always comes back to you so if you gave this person money or whatever you gave them or whatever you let them use don't don't feel shame because you got taken for a ride from this person don't do that because you put out abundance and it will come back to you tenfold just be patient okay so don't ever think that you did something wrong because you you know gave to somebody this person didn't take advantage of you it was divinely guided for you to give at that moment in time because the universe is going to give it back to you at another time when you need it the most recovery you will recover from this you will you know get better you will heal and you will have a renewal gemini okay um things are going to get better just follow your instinct and leave this alone isolate yourself from this person because this is very negative energy very negative energy okay i love you guys be safe bye